What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, we're coming at you guys, giving you guys the best tips, tricks, and ways to enhance your relationship or maybe even ignite those old flames that might have diminished over time. So last week, we covered some of the things that are the most common problems in relationships and some of the different things that possibly you could do to help it, right? So this week, we want to talk about what is going to make your relationship more successful and more strong? These are some awesome tips that me and Sharice utilize and other successful couples that we know utilize too as well. So at this point, remember, everybody's different and some of these things can be different for you guys and your relationship. That's why in the beginning, you guys, you know, as you guys are getting to know each other and uh, you guys ultimately want to form this relationship, you guys should be talking about some of these different things like boundaries, what's going to possibly upset you, what's not going to upset you, um, or you've learned through time, right? You've done something and it just hasn't went like you planned. And at that point, you're apologizing or you're getting over that in some certain way with your, your partner. Um, so let's talk about some of these awesome ways to really make your relationship the most successful and strong as possible. The first one is prioritize spending time together. Yeah, tough one sometimes. You know, in the beginning, I think a lot of couples, you know, it's that honeymoon phase, you know, they want to spend a lot of time with each other. They'll make certain exceptions to whatever it is, like, you know, they might call from their job once or twice. Um, you know, they stop spending time with their friends. Um, there's a lot of different things, right? You know, you know, they're just so excited about seeing that person in the beginning. And at that point, over time, they really don't prioritize the relationship with the person, right? So that's a big one because in the beginning, you guys are guys are giving each other all this time, uh, spending these quality moments together and building that awesome bond and relationship. And then when you guys are getting into the relationship, that's when everything starts getting to routine. Yeah, and I guess it's you take easy. it for granted. Yeah, it's 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 easy to you know to happen. You might not even you don't even think about. Yeah, it. you don't even think about it. You're like you know until somebody mentions it, or your partner mentions it, you really oh man like oh, sorry like you know I've been thinking about work or. You know, think about doing with the kids or, or whatever it is, or I, I've got this other goal that I'm, I'm working on right now, so I apologize. You know, that's the best thing you can do, but actions speak louder than words. Yeah. So if that does happen, right? Fix it. Fix it. All right? Don't let it get out of hand. Don't go too long. Always think in your back mind, I'm grateful for my partner, right? I'm grateful to have my partner. I think about it every day. I'm like, man, I'm like... You know, so at this point, like, I really do got it good. I, I, I hate to be single right now. Even if you guys are single out there, there's a lot of obstacles out yeah. there, a lot of bad things. Lots you know, I've got stuff. a solid relationship with my wife and, and with my son and, you know, and, and my family. So at that point, like, I don't want to trade that for anything. I really do think about it. So, you know, a lot of people don't prioritize things like that. They, they, they take it for granted or they forget. Okay. So this is your reminder prioritize okay so making sure that your family and your loved one is number one priority over everything yeah now of course there could be some exceptions during you know the course of time when you might need to do something business wise or whatever it is but as long as you're spending majority of your time prioritizing that person they'll understand and they won't become resentful about it yeah when you Depending you gotta start thinking is. about it though like you know obviously because you gotta do the flip side of this you know I always got to do the... Uh, Devil's advocate. Yeah, of course. Um, but, you know, if you don't enjoy spending time with your significant other, Yikes. then we then you got to start looking at, okay, why do I not enjoy this time? Maybe there might be some of you guys out there, and I'm sure this is probably a good amount of you guys, you, you might argue all the time about nothing. I mean, maybe you guys are argumentative. Maybe you guys aren't laughing about things, or maybe whatever it might be. Um, but maybe that's why you may not want to spend time with them. Um, if that is the case, communicate. Communicate. <laughs> Communication's key. Yeah. You got to communicate. Um, I wouldn't necessarily tell them like, hey, listen, you know, be abrupt about it. You don't have to be abrupt about it. But you can at least try to mention some of the things and, you know, try to smooth it out a little bit so that you do really enjoy time with each other. Absolutely. You know, because maybe that could be why you don't want to spend time with a significant other. Absolutely. So, I mean... And, you know, spend your time doing good things, right? Because those good memories last long times. You know, even though something bad happens that could over trump some of these good things or all the good things you've done. But at that point, you just keep developing these good times together and doing great things together. 
You know, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It's you guys spending quality time together. That could Example. be a walk. Example. It could be a walk in the neighborhood. That could be, you know, going down to the beach together. That could be spending time at the pool together. That could be you guys sitting and watching a TV show together and talking about it, laughing about it, being engaged together about it. Um, you know, that could be you guys going out to dinner. You know, that could be a very simple thing. Picnic, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. You Fair know, you guys... It could be from, you know. Let's bring up the picnic. I always bring up the picnic. It's because I would make such a big deal about a picnic when we first met. It was such a big deal. I don't even know why because I don't even like picnics, really. I don't even want to be outside in the grass. I don't want any of these little animal things growing, like, you know, crawling all over me. So I don't even know why I would make such a big deal about the stupid <laughs> picnic. But, like, he always goes back to it, refers back That's to right. it. But, you know, I mean, I it listen, is yeah. from, it's like, you know, something you see off a movie, like, oh, I want a picnic. I want a big blanket, make me some sandwiches, or I'll make sandwiches nice. and go out by this, you know, do, but it's just, I think we did it like one time, yes. and I'm like, yeah, you know, I really don't like this it's, picnic it's, thing. It's not that big of a deal, trust me. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to say. You guys go to like, uh, you know, like, you guys go to a fair together, or whatever it may be, like, just oh spend quality time together and having that's fun funny. together, really laughing and enjoying <laughs> each other, and, and kind of like knocking everything out, you know, that that's stressful at, at a time that it's bothering you in your mind because that could overtake your relationship Put your phone too. away. Put your phone away. It's That's a big, a big one. one. Yeah, definitely. It is a big one for sure. Phone away, uh, technology, you know, technology is great, but it, it's, it's taking a lot it of our time. It interrupts, right? So if you're having a moment, right, with your significant other, or you're going to have a moment, or you guys are connecting, right? The last thing you want is, ding, and you're like, oh, just one second. Yeah. And then you go look at your phone and it's like, just a total disruption yeah. yeah and then you don't really get to do it you know so i know it's hard you know and i know everybody just has to keep scrolling on facebook and stuff and you have to see everybody's life but right. it's really not that important <laughs> okay um your significant other is the most important at that time don't let that become an addiction to you guys and hurt your relationship right? or your thumb. because it will it will it'll take a lot of your time and you won't you will, you won't even realize yeah. how much time you spent mm -hmm. on it and that's what they want that's what social media is betting on that you stay on there and keep scrolling so don't do it. All right. Um, the next one is is speak up about the problems before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Don't let things bottle up. Try not to go to sleep mad at each other. That is a no. That is a rule. That it's is a rule. rule. No, seriously, it's a rule. Okay. Me and John put that rule in what, how many years ago, right? It's a while. Because yeah. when we first met, I'm like, dude, we cannot go like we can't sleep on it and be wake up mad at each other you just can't do that it's just it's not healthy for the relationship mm -hmm. so if you can make that a rule in your relationship or your marriage it's a it's a it's a game changer because you're gonna go to sleep and then you're gonna wake up and then the problem is rolling into the next day when you could just a try at least listen if, if you can't resolve the issue at least say i love you and give him a kiss and you could just i guess just turn your back and go to sleep mm -hmm. but at least you didn't go to bed mad at each other. You know what you should think about? Because I had somebody do this before if they don't wake up the next day. Mm. So you didn't get to say I love you. You didn't get to give them a kiss. You didn't get to say I'm sorry. You didn't get to say anything. So God forbid they didn't wake up the next day because anything can happen to you, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't get to do what you wanted to do. So don't easier. don't take that chance. A lot easier said than done, though, in some of these circumstances. Depending on what it is, you know, because... You know, you're a guy, you upset your girl, she's probably ain't gonna wanna kiss you. Oh, okay? well, at least say good night. At least you say good night, I love you. <laughs> you know, I don't really want you mad at me. You know, some guys don't wanna say I'm sorry. So if you don't wanna say I'm sorry, I'm like, listen, I'd really like to talk to you about this. Can we just kind of cool off and, and maybe take a little time to do that? Even if you guys are gonna go to sleep, but you guys are gonna have to address the problem. And you really don't want to go in the next day. No. You wanna try to just get over the problem as fast as possible if you can. But sometimes it's not that easy. Like I said, it's easier said than done. I'm a nagger. That's so, why I'm like, hey, hey, get look. Okay, well, let's talk about, 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 talk about and now, and now. Sometimes you might need a little <laughs> cooling off period because he didn't even get that. Uh, you know, at that point, you know, you, you're mad about something. You're right. You have those emotions and they're flaring. Yeah. And, and for me, I, I'm like that. Right. Over time, just a little bit of time. I, I like to think things out, you know, and really be rational about things. And sometimes when it directly happens, you're not that rational in some <laughs> circumstances. And that might come out in the wrong way. You might say something wrong or really, really hurtful to somebody that you can't take back now. Yeah. You know, people say it all the time. Sticks and stones may break my bones, the words never hurt me. Trust me, mm. that statement is false. It's super you false. You can really hurt somebody's feelings and they'll remember what you said to them all the time. Yeah, you can't take Every it back. time. You know, so at that point, you know, make sure you're not just, just raging out in anger either. If you need 
some time, take it. But most of the time, the best thing to do is talk about it, communicate, find solutions, and try to move on, right? right? The next one is express your appreciation. Mm -hmm. And this goes right along with the first one is prioritizing your partner. Mm -hmm. But prioritizing them is one thing. Appreciating them is a whole other category. And this could be with a number of different methods. You can get them candy, chocolate, if they don't like chocolate, like Sharice doesn't, Gross. right? Gross. That's disgusting. You can disgusting. get them flowers. You know, okay. most circumstances, that's going to work. <laughs> um, but some girls don't like flowers, so make sure you know what your girl likes and she doesn't like. Right. You, don't, you don't have to even buy a gift, but it could be a card or a handwritten letter. Think about the last time you got a handwritten letter. Maybe you got a, a card that had some things written in it, but not a handwritten letter. Usually it's typed out or text message nowadays. That handwritten letter really, like, it shows that you put an effort, like, you know, you thought about it. And people can say, well, type is the exact same thing, and that's mm, what we do nowadays. Really? But I'll tell you what, if it's in their handwriting, and hopefully you make it legible enough for them to read it, <laughs> um, you know, write out that beautiful letter to them, or a poem, or whatever, you, you know, you can be creative about things. Maybe a picture. You know, if you're creative like that, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do. Write them a song if you're an artist. I, I don't know. Yeah. But there's a lot of different things that you can show appreciation. Maybe even just a thank you. You, you know, I really yeah. appreciate you, honey. It's uh, that simple. I mean, honestly, actions do speak louder than words. And I mean, me and John have been together forever. So, you know, obviously, I'll always like flowers. But, you know, his actions go way further than flowers. You know, just in my personal opinion. And it could be something so minute you'd be surprised like you'd be so surprised at the little tiny things that make a difference it could be something like i don't know maybe they cleaned up the table that night um or maybe they thought about you and got you like something to eat you know because yeah. they were ordering something yeah. i don't know it's just little tiny things like that that you don't realize you might even be doing yeah. but it's showing that you appreciate them that you love them that you're thinking of them yeah. You know, or um, maybe like a midday text, you know, the, the midday text, text where you're like, hey, I'm just thinking about you. Like, Pretty I love easy you. to do. Yeah. Pretty easy to do. You can, you know, I mean, you can do a lot of different things to show them appreciation mm -hmm. and show them that you love them or that you have a lot of feelings for them if you don't love them yet. Right. Because that's a big word, too, that a lot of people throw around yeah. nowadays and it gives it less meaning. Right. Mm -hmm. When you just throw it around, it really doesn't mean what it should. So at that point, if you're going to say I love you to somebody, really think about that and what it means to you and, and how much you go to the ends of the earth for that person. Because that's really what love is. You're willing to compromise uh, in some circumstances. Maybe you wouldn't before. Mm -hmm. You want to do things you possibly wouldn't do. Um, you know, this person makes you feel a certain way that you've never felt before in a positive way, not a negative way. You know, th these are different things that really, really do add up, you know. And, and like I said, it's a big thing. And a lot of people, people like to be appreciated too. So, at that point, everybody likes to get some credit. Uh, everybody likes to get appreciation. You know, it shows attention too as well, and it makes them a priority. So at that point, you'll never forget it, right? If you always appreciate them. Um, all right. So the next one is is uh, agree upon important issues from the get go. So you know, usually like minded individuals, you know, as far as relationship wise, they have uh, the exact same perspective on things, I guess, or, or like the exact same things. Now, I know couples are totally total opposite. Polar opposite. Yeah. It, they don't like this. This person likes this. And it's like that across the board. And they, yeah, but they, they make it work. Great. They get along great. You know, you opposites know, attract. You know, yeah. like some guys, you know, they're, they might be, you know, very passive and they have a very, you know, alpha female or they're the alpha and they want a very passive female, whatever it may be. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but those sometimes attract each other because they're looking for the exact opposite because they're not that way. And that intrigues them, excites them, and it wants to be with them. Um, but, you know, a lot of couples, they usually, over time, will start agreeing on a lot of different things mm -hmm. together, see a lot of different things the same. And then the other things that they don't, that's where conflict can come in play, mm -hmm. where you guys talk about it, compromise, talk about a resolution. Compromise. And, and put it put it forth, you know? Halfway point. You've Absolutely. got to be able to meet at a halfway point. It's not always like one way or the other. Absolutely. You know, um, I mean, obviously you can try to convince them of your point, um, yeah. but there's got to be a halfway point. you yeah. got to be able to meet your significant other at the halfway point. And, and if you do that, it does make things a lot easier. Yeah, and if you can't compromise on things, it's just not compromisable, then hey, listen, you have to possibly look at the relationship and maybe a change. So these are some of the strong tips that make marriages and relationships better, stronger, 
and hopefully longer. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to bring you guys these awesome tips and tricks or just talk to you guys about some of these different things um, from our experience or from other relationships that, relationships that we've seen too as well. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you guys next Sunday for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.